You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to all the music lovers out in Metro South. I have Torben Hansen from the Brockton Symphony. Welcome, Torben. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Ni nice to see you and always nice to hear you. <laughs> Thank I you. I was at the Rotary uh, meeting a couple yes. of weeks ago with Jay and, and you had a nice little group that played yes, and did, gave yeah. a sample to yeah. this. Um, you have a wonderful event mm -hmm. on Sunday, October 23rd, 3 yes. o'clock over at Christ Congregational yes, Church. Mm -hmm. And you're teaming up with the Brockton Rotary. Yes, it's their 100th uh, anniversary. So we're going to uh, celebrate their 100th anniversary or um, do something at each concert. We're going to have a, a nice reception with a cake and uh, the mayor will be there. Mayor Carpenter will be there to cut the cake, and uh, we'll have a nice reception afterwards to kick off their 100th anniversary season. Okay, so that's the hundredth of the Rotary of the Foundation, Rotary. Yes, yes. which is the charitable part of Rotary. Yes, um, one of the top charities mm -hmm. in the world where the money actually goes to charity. Absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. just like yeah. the symphony. <laughs> the symphony. Yeah. Uh, yeah does that mm -hmm. as well. Um, and you are calling it, I love the title, Majestic Masterworks. Masterpiece, yes. yes okay, yes. so tell us about it. Tell us about the concert itself. Well, we're gonna start out uh, with a little uh, prelude. We have a nice brass group doing a, um, was a Gabriele uh, Canzone, and that'll call the people into the hall. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna start with the brass group doing another Canzone, uh, which will be um, the start of the concert. Uh, in place of what we usually do, an overture. Mm -hmm. And then we have an incredibly talented Dane Jacobson, a 17-year-old winner of our concerto competition last year, 2015. And he's going to play the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, which mm. is just incredible, a beautiful piece. And uh, technically, he's just a wizard on his instrument. He played beautifully. We had our first rehearsal last night. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. You can't miss this. And we're going to end with one of the most beautiful symphonies, I think, ever written. That's Brahms Symphony No. 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are, yeah, and each piece in itself is truly a masterworks. Now, the nice thing mm -hmm. about the symphony and the cooperation, collaboration you have is Christ Congregational mm -hmm. Church is a, is a beautiful church, and the acoustics are really nice in there. If you want to hear mm -hmm. good music yeah. played, well, you want to go there. <laughs> Absolutely. And you are up close and personal with the uh, orchestra as well. So it's a, a beautiful setting to view the orchestra and, as you say, the acoustics to hear it. Now you're in it, of course. Uh, I play clarinet, so yes. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I enjoy that. You'll see me in the back row. Okay. I won't wave, but <laughs> we'll, 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 I will be we'll, playing. We'll, we'll zero in on you. But, <laughs> but um, how many folks are in the symphony? This is a, this is a, a, a group yeah. of professional musicians, and it's been a Brockton tradition for how many years? This is our 69th season. Okay. Going back to 1948, mm -hmm. when it was started. Uh, an inspiration over a coffee table at, uh, I think, Martin Fireman wow. started it wow. back then. And uh, yeah, so we have about, um, I think we'll probably put about 65 musicians on stage for this concert including strings, brass, woodwinds, and percussion. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, the 17-year-old the sounds like it's going to be a real treat. Oh, it absolutely. And it will. Now, you have people that support the symphony. I know you're supported by the different local cultural councils yes, yeah. with state grant funding. Absolutely. You have patrons and sponsors yep. and members and, yeah. and tickets. Yes. You have to We're buy a <laughs> ticket to come, correct? Yes, yeah. The tickets are uh, $20, mm -hmm. uh, 15 for students and seniors. And uh, anybody under 18 is free. So we uh, really like to get the word out for young people to come and start to enjoy symphonic music. Wow, that's, that's, yeah. that, I didn't know yeah. that part. That's and I, I should say seniors even too this year, part of our cultural grant from the Brockton uh, local grants, um, if seniors go to the um, Chamber of, um, Chamber... Council on Aging? Maybe? I'm sorry, <laughs> Council on Aging. Yeah. Yes, if they go there, they can pick up a voucher. Okay. And they can get in free as well. Oh, okay. I'm going to make sure our friends over yes. there uh, know that. They know. Uh, Jan I think, I think Janice the, Fitzgerald and yes. Dottie and everybody. The vouchers were, I think, uh, put out last week. That is wonderful. Good. That is wonderful. So um, this is the start of the season, yes, correct? Yes, first concert. So yes. you have other concerts coming up throughout the year. You have chamber concerts. Tell yes, us about we do. them as well. we do. Well, first thing is going to be our uh, Holiday Pops concert, mm -hmm. which is a, uh, a wonderful event to kick in the holiday season. And that will be over at West junior high. Mm -hmm. 
our chamber music concert is the end of January. Mm -hmm. And again, it, that, the chamber music concerts have been uh, very successful. Each year they seem to grow. We have more people in the orchestra that really enjoy the small, intimate right. chamber settings. And our audience certainly does too. Um, just, to re just going back quickly, it was about, I think, five or six years ago when we started this. And mainly just for the musicians, a chance for us to play mm -hmm. small groups. And we said, well, if you know, 30 or 40 of our closest friends show up, we'll be happy. And we got 50 or 60 people for mm -hmm. that. And now I think we had like 150 last year, and they're just, the audience is just growing and enjoying it. Um, but I digress. <laughs> the, um, our winter concert in March mm -hmm. will feature our uh, principal trumpet, Wayne King. Mm -hmm. And he's going, um, uh, he's a, play, a piece I had never heard before, but it's a wonderful piece. Um, it's a dance piece for trumpet and orchestra, and that's kind of the theme of our concert is uh, dance, invitation to the dance. Okay. So a lot of the pieces will be dance oriented. And we are concluding with something, I think, really out of the box for us, or we're thinking outside the box. Um, it's got, called Symphonic Spirituals. Mm. And um, Eric Lindgren, who is on our board, is a composer, mm -hmm. and he, uh, he wrote a, um, a piece called Extreme Spirituals. It was prefer first performed by the, um, I think it was the Georgia Symphony, and um, uh, Oral Moses mm -hmm. is a gospel singer, and he uh, is going to be singing the spirituals. He's coming up from Georgia to perform with the group. And so we are really excited to hear this piece. It'll be a premiere mm. in the, Brock, in the um, Massachusetts premiere. And then to kind of counter that, on the second half of the program, we're going to be doing Dvorak's New World Symphony, okay. which of course is based on themes from America here. So Something for everybody. Absolutely. Sure. And we are excited. You have a website for the symphony? Yes, we do here. Just go to brocktonsymphony.org, okay. and you'll be locked right in. You can see everything. Everything you need to know about the symphony, our dates, concerts, um, ticket to sales volunteer, on. ticket sales you can get online, um, or you can reserve them at the door. Um, either way, yes. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, in the last minute I have, okay. um, if people haven't discovered symphony or <laughs> classical music, yeah. what would you tell them? I guess in 30 seconds or less <laughs> to entice them to come. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like live music. I don't care what your it is. But classical music involves everything. It, it shouldn't be uh, something that's, you know, highbrow and I'm not so sure I want to go and see. Um, you're going to be leaving these concerts just amazed at soloists. You're going to be tapping your feet. You're going to be humming tunes on the way out. Uh, something for everybody. And there'll be new music, things you haven't heard before. So kind of like going to a movie. You go there and, well, what am I going to see? And you come out thinking, wow, that's one of the best movies I've seen Ever. Well, we are going to be there, but you have to go <laughs> and hear it for yourself. Absolutely. Thank you for being on. Oh, uh, my pleasure. pleasure. Thank you so much, Mark. Glad to be here and help. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.